Let's talk about arithmetic series. What is the definition of arithmetic series? They say that an arithmetic series is the sum of the terms in an arithmetic sequence with a definite number of terms. What does that mean? Let me show you an example. Here we have 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, and 23, the terms of an arithmetic sequence. They are asking you to evaluate the related series of each sequence. To evaluate that, we can add all of the terms together, like 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 plus 21 plus 23, and we get 108. It's easy, but the problem is if we have a lot of terms. If we have a lot of terms, it would be a little complicated to do it fast. So what do we do? We find the first term, the last term, and the common difference, and we replace it in this formula. Which formula? The formula that says Sn, which is the summation formula, it's equal n over 2 into a1 plus a n. What does that mean? It means n is the number of terms, a1 is the first, and a n is the last one. So in this given sequence, we have six terms. So what do we say? We say it's equal 6 over 2 into a1 is 13, a n is 23, so we say plus 23, and we simplify, we get 6 over 2, which is 3, into 13 plus 23, which is 36. And we multiply 3 by 36, we get 108. And here we write S6, just to mention that we have six terms. So S6 is equal to 108. Another example, let's look at that. Here the terms are 22, 28, 34, 40, and 46. So the number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what do we write? We say it's equal to 5 over 2. We open bracket, a1 is 22, and a n, which is the last term, is 46. We say plus 46. And don't forget to write s5. Why? Because we have five terms in this series. And we simplify. We write 5 over 2 into 22 plus 46 is 68. And we can multiply 5 times 68 and then divide by 2. Or you can divide 68 by 2 first and then multiply the answer by 5. You get 5 times 68 divided by 2, which is 34. And 5 times 34 is 170. Let's look at this type, which is given in sigma form. They said evaluate the arithmetic series described. And here it is written in the form sigma from m equal to 1 till 10 for 7m minus 2. What does this mean? It means that when we have sigma from m equal 1 till 10 for 7m minus 2, it could be written in the form of 7 into 1 minus 2, this is the first term, plus, and keep going, 7 into 2 minus 2, plus, until the last term, which is 7 into 10 minus 2, and that would be the last term. And then you add them all together, you get the final sum. But to do that, we can do it faster. How do we do it? Since this is an arithmetic series, so we can find the first term, the last term, and the number of terms, and we can apply the formula. You can get the first term by replacing m by 1, so we can say a1 is equal to 7 into 1 minus 2, which is equal 7 times 1, 7 minus 2, which is 5, and the last term, which is a n, is equal 7 into, and we replace 10 in this case, so it's going to be 10 minus 2, which is equal 7 times 10, 70, 70 minus 2 is 68, and the number of terms, which is n, we can write it 10 minus 1 plus 1. Remember this. This is written in this form because sometimes they don't write it from m equal to 1 till 10. And you could have a mistake. Let me show you this. If you have it written in the form m equals to 4 till 7, let's say, from 4 to 7, how many terms we have? Maybe you guess it's 3, but it's not 3. It is 4. Why? Because count the number of terms. Let's say m equal to 4. So this is 4. This is 5. This is 6 and this is 7. So how many terms we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why we say the last minus this plus 1. 7 minus 4, which is 3, plus 1 equal to 4. Always subtract the upper bound minus the lower bound and add 1. So the number of terms here is 10 minus 1, which is 9, plus 1, which is 10. So that's 10. So now we have all what we need. So we replace in the formula. What's the formula? The summation. Since we have 10 terms, we write S10 is equal N over 2, which is 10 over 2, open bracket, the first term, which is A1, which is 5, 
plus the last term, which is 68. And we do that by calculator. We can get 365. Let's have another example. Here we have sigma from i equal 1 till 6 for 3i. To do that, as we mentioned, find the first term, last term, and the number of terms, and then replace it in the formula for the sum. So the first term, a1, is going to be equal to 3, replace i by 1. So 3 times 1, which is equal to 3. And the last term, which is a6, which is equal to 3 times 6, which is 18. And the number of terms is equal to 6 minus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 6. And then replace in the formula. S6 is equal 6 over 2 into the first term, which is a1. It's 3 here, plus the last term, which is a6, is 18. And then simplify 6 by 2, which is 3, multiplied by 3 plus 18, which is 21. 3 times 21 is 63. Another example. What about if it's given straightforward, a1 equals to 4, a n equals to 22, and n equals to 10? What do you do? Just replace it in the formula. S n is equal n over 2 into a1 plus a n. How much is n? n is given 10, so we put 10 over 2 into a1, which is 4, plus a n, which is 22. And then we can say it's equal 10 over 2, which is 5. 4 plus 22 is 26. Here, S10, S10, so S10 is equal, 5 times 26 is 130. What about if it's written in another form, like that? 20 plus 27 plus 34 plus 41, and N is equal to 16. So what we can do here, as we see in the formula, the formula says that Sn is equal N over 2 into A1 plus An. So in this case, we have A1, which is 20, and we have the number of terms 16. But what about a n, which is the last term? In this case, either we have to find the last term, which is a 16, and then replace it here, or we can use another formula that involves the common difference. Let's do both ways. So first, we need to find a n. How to find a n, which is a 16, as n is equal to 16. So we say a 16 is equal a 1 plus 16 minus 1 times the common difference. What is the common difference in this series? The second term is 27 and the first term is 20. So we subtract them. 27 minus 20 is going to be equal to 7. So we say the common difference is equal to 27 minus 20, which is equal to 7. And then we replace the terms. We say a16 is equal a1, which is 20, plus 16 minus 1, which is 15 times the common difference is 7, is going to be equal to 20, plus 7 times 15 is 105, that's 105. We add them together, you get 20 plus 105 is 125. So now we have the first term, the number of terms, the last term, we can replace them. So we say S16 is going to be equal to 16 over 2 into the first term, which is 20, plus the last term, which is 125, and we do it by calculator, we get 1160. Let me show you how do we do that if we use the other formula. We have another formula for the sum using the first term, the common difference, and the number of terms. What do I mean? Let me show you how do you get the other formula. If we replace a n by a1 plus n minus 1 times d, what do you get? You get n over 2 into a1 plus a n, which is a1 plus n minus 1 times d. What do you get? You get n over 2 into a1 plus a1. It's 2a1 plus n minus 1 times d. And this is another formula to be used for the sum. We can memorize both formulas. We look at the question. If a1 is given, a n is given, so we use n over 2 into a1 plus a n. If a n is not given, and the common difference is given, so we use the second one. So now, in this question, a1 is given 20, a1 is equal to 20, and the number of terms is equal to 16, and the common difference is equal to 27 minus 20, which is 7. So we can say as 16 is equal to 16 over 2 into 2 times a1 plus 16 minus 1 times the common difference. 
and we replace all values. What do we say? We say 16 divided by 2 is 8, up in bracket, 2 multiplied by A1, which is 20, plus 16 minus 1 is 15. The common difference is 7, so we replace 7. And we simplify, you get 8 into 2 times 20 is 40, plus 7 times 15 is 105. And we can do that by calculator from the beginning. You get the final answer as 1,160. One more question. They say here, determine the number of terms n in each arithmetic series. Given a1 equals to 15, a n equals to 79, and the sum is equal to 423. Since a1 and a n are given, so what do we use? We use the formula n is equal to n over 2 into a1 plus a n. And now we replace the values. Sn is 423 equals to n over 2 into a1 is 15 plus a n is 79. And we solve for n. How to do that? We say 423 is equal to n over 2. Now what's the sum of 15 and 79? It's 94. We say 423 equals, divide 94 by 2, what do you get? You get 47, so we get 47n, and divide each side by 47, you get 9. So this is 9, and here 47, 47 cancel, you get n equals to 9. So we got the number of terms. Let's have a similar question. Look at that question. A1 is given. The common difference is given and the sum is given. How can we find the number of terms? We want to find n. So what do we use? We use the formula that involves the common difference, not a1 and an. So we write as n is equal to n over 2 into 2a1 plus n minus 1 times d. And we replace as n is 21, we write 21 is equal n over 2 into 2a1. a1 is minus 3. Multiply 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6, plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which is 2. We simplify, you get 21 equals to n over 2 into minus 6, plus 2 times n is 2n, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, and simplify more, you get 21 is equal n over 2 into minus 6, minus 2 is minus 8, plus 2n. And we can make distribution here. We can say 21 is equal. n over 2 times minus 8, divide minus 8 by 2, you get minus 4. So it's minus 4n. And multiply 2n by n over 2 is going to be equal to n squared plus n squared because 2 and 2 cancel. So now it seems that we are getting a quadratic equation. So we move 21 to the other side. It becomes 0 equals Let's order them. Let's write n squared at the beginning. So n squared minus 4n and 21. It becomes on the other side. It's minus 21. You know that we can add minus 21 minus 21 on each side. So it becomes minus 21 on there. We can also switch the two sides. We can write n squared minus 4n minus 21 is equal to 0. Now to get n, we need to factorize n squared minus 4n minus 21. So we open brackets, we say equal to zero. Now, what are the two numbers? Their product is minus 21 and their sum is minus four. How do we get it? We look for the numbers with product minus 21. We have three times seven and we have 21 by one. And since we have minus signs, so one of them is negative and the other one is positive. So it's either minus 21 and plus one or plus 21 minus one. Also minus three plus seven or plus 3 minus 7. Now, which couple of those gives a sum of minus 4? It is plus 3 and minus 7. So 3 and minus 7 are the numbers we are looking for. So we say n plus 3 and minus 7 here. And we solve it as an equation. We say n plus 3 is equal to 0 or n minus 7 is equal to 0. So here we get n equals to minus 3 or n is equal to 7 on the other side. But you know that the number of terms should be positive. We cannot accept a negative number of terms, which means that n equal to negative 3 is rejected, and we accept n equal to 7, and the number of terms is equal to 7. Let's look at this type. 
Here we have it minus 2 plus minus 12 plus minus 22 plus minus 32 and Sn given equals to minus 224. We know that the first term is equal to minus 2 so we write A1 is equal to minus 2 and the common difference between them we can write it the common difference is equal the second term minus the first term which is minus 12 minus minus 2 which is equal to minus 12 plus 2 which is minus 10. We got the common difference and we have the sum so we say Sn is equal n over 2 but which formula we use we use 2a1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference because we don't have a n we don't have the last term and we replace the values Sn is minus 2 2 4 is equal to n over 2 into 2a1 a1 is minus 2 so we get minus 4 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 plus n minus 1 times the common difference is minus 10 and then we simplify more you get minus 2 2 4 is equal n over 2 into minus 4 minus 10 times n which is minus 10 n minus 10 times minus 1 is plus 10 simplify more you get minus 2 2 4 is equal n over 2 into minus 4 plus 10 is 6 minus 10 n and we distribute here you get minus 2 2 4 is equal n over 2 times 6 it is 3 n n over 2 times minus 10 n we divide 10 by 2 you get 5 and we have n times n n squared you get minus 5 n squared since we have minus 5 n squared here so we take it to the other side it becomes 5 n squared take 3 n to the other side you get minus 3 n and keep minus 2 2 4 on the same side is equal to 0 and this is a quadratic equation we need to factorize to get the value of n or we can solve it by using the quadratic formula a is equal to 5 b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to minus 2 2 4 we say n is equal minus b plus or minus radical b squared minus 4ac if you remember it over 2a we replace the values is equal to minus b which is minus of minus 3 which is plus 3 plus or minus radical b squared which is minus 3 squared which is 9 minus 4 times a which is 5 times c which is minus 2 2 4 over 2 times a which is 10 2 times 5 10 we simplify it we get 3 plus or minus radical we do that by calculator you get 4489 4 4 89 over 10 which is going to be equal to 3 plus or minus radical 4 4 89 by calculator you get 67 over 10 and we do that separately first one n is equal 3 plus 67 which is 70 over 10 which is 7 and the second one 3 minus 67 over 10 you get let's say this is n2 equal 3 minus 67 which is minus 64 over 10 which is not accepted for two reasons first we have negative sign here number of terms should be positive and also we have fraction and it is not natural number so the one which is accepted is n equal to 7 and that would be the number of terms and here I can say that we reached the end of the video and if you like the video don't forget to like and share and welcome to math for fun and bye for now